repeatedly. If Dak is healthy, he should start at Philly this Sunday night. So do you still feel that way? Should he get the start? Yeah, it doesn't matter what I said, but it only matters what Dr. Jerry said. Mm -hmm. Skip, this is the first time you covered this game a very long time. This is the first time that they want the player fully healthy. All the way, I'm talking about like three weeks past healthy. Mm -hmm. Normally the guy, if he's somewhat, oh, he's 80%, oh, we're going to put him out there. Mm -hmm. Not Jerry in this situation, Skip, look. Jerry and Steven said when Dak had the injury that it was probably around the three... Everybody was saying that most doctors were saying six to eight weeks. Jerry and Steven Jones said three to four weeks. It was three to four weeks because they didn't know exactly what they were going to get with Cooper Rush. Lo and behold, Cooper Rush goes 4-0. Oh. Mm. Now, all of a sudden, that three to four timeline that they have projected is looking more like trending towards six to eight weeks. And I'm not really, really sure... Because if he goes down there and beats the Eagles, are you telling me that you're going to send him to the bench after going 5-0 and as well as the Cowboys as look? And granted, he hadn't had to do a whole lot. They ran the ball, he threw 400 yards, didn't throw a touchdown, but they won by two scores. Are you telling me that come Detroit, come Chicago, that you're like, oh, you know what, going back to the bench, Cooper Rush? Mm. I don't like the way it's trending for Dak. Dak is upset. It seems to me, reading what Clarence Hill was writing, that Dak is like, I I'm good to go, I'm antsy, but hey, he the, says he's antsy as you, you know, know what. what. <laughs> okay, okay. And so only Dr. Jerry, who doesn't have a medical license, but he's the only doctor that matters. Actually, he's the only opinion that matters, is that, you know what, we're going another week. Basically, we're not going to skip. No, he thinks we're going to see if he can do his normal thing. See how I project out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Normally, by Friday. They've already put this out. Cooper Rush is going to be the starting quarterback for the Philadelphia against the Philadelphia Eagles. This was a Friday. So we don't need to see uh, Thursday. We don't need to see, excuse me, it was a Wednesday. We don't need to see Thursday and Friday. Moving into Saturday, you don't really do a whole lot on Saturday, Skip. You know, come out there, have a little walkthrough, and then you take off and go head to Philly. No, they probably won't leave until Sunday. I forgot it. It's Sunday no. night game, so it'll be Saturday. No, yeah. no, they'll leave Saturday. It's Saturday. It's a Sunday night game. Keep thinking it's Monday. Mm -hmm. Skip, I just believe Dak is a better quarterback, plain and simple. Um, and I know he's had, you know, he had, he's had been... 500 quarterback over the last 36 games, over the last two and a half years, he's been an average quarterback. I think his last 12 games, he's been 6-6. Six and six. But if you're telling me that this defense is going to continue to play like this or even get better, well, that gives you an opportunity to go win and get to and win the Super Bowl. That's what that gives you. Mm. Cooper Rush can't do that. Mm. So I, don't, I, I, I believe the Eagles will get to more, will put pressure on Cooper Rush like he hasn't had before. Not from a standpoint, Skip, of rushing the quarterback, but I believe they'll be able to score. Can they get? Can the Eagles get to 24? Because if the Eagles can get to 24, we have yet to see, we have yet to see Cooper Rush get to 24. He's never had to get to 24 points. He's never scored 24. The most he's ever scored in the game is 23. Can the Eagles get to 24 and make him get to more than that? Mm. I don't believe he can. Mm. And so... I believe this is why you guys are going to lose the game. But I believe Dak should start if he's healthy. But clearly, Jerry doesn't feel that's the case. Okay. H how do you feel that Jerry doesn't feel that's the case? That's why, the why, why are you... What are you basing that on? Because Jerry is the only one that matters. Okay, Jerry but, but what... Give, give me some ammo here. Give me some tangible. Give because me, Jerry, said, Jerry said three to four weeks. That's what Jerry said. Jerry said three to four weeks. Now, why is it all of a sudden? And you know this. They normally say the court 100%. When has a guy came off an injury and been 100% that he was more healthy than when he got injured? When has that been the case? Okay, well, who said he's not going to start on Sunday night? I said he's not going to start. Jerry said he's not going to start. Hey, are you putting words in Jerry's mouth? How much you want to bet? Bet 15 cases right now, he doesn't start. Okay, well, I, 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 I don't want him to start, so why would I bet that he does start? Okay, so, so, what, okay, so what, what are you what, asking what, me? What are all the signs telling you? I read you the quote yesterday. This is Jerry Jones two days ago. Jerry said, do we need that extra spurt to make the game-winning play at quarterback? Yes, we do. Thank goodness we are in a situation where we have not had to have that dimension yet. When we get him, Dak, back, that will be a real additive, will be a mess, as in a handful for the NFL to deal with. He is raving about everything that you're saying, and you're trying to pour cold water or warm beer on the narrative that you desire. You want Dak to start. You say it's their only Skip. hope of winning no, the game. No, 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 it's no. trending. Skip. Everything, everything Skip. is going. Skip. Dak is saying, I'm 1,000% healthy. No, I got no, my pop Skip. back. CeeDee Lamb says the power Skip. is back no, in his throws. Skip. No, that's I'm saying. 
I believe long term, if you, in order to get to where you want to go, that gives you that best option. I and I skip. I said this. I'm saying who should start versus who will start. I, Jerry is enamored. Jerry Jones. I don't care what you or anybody else says, and you know this to be true. Jerry Jones has never been in that. Has never been enamored with Dak Prescott. He's enamored with what Cooper Rush is doing. Cooper Rush is going to start. I don't care what Jerry said. Je See, Jerry is prognosticating moving forward. We're going to need that play. But I don't believe he, he feels he's going to need that play on Sunday night. Cooper Rush is starting. <clears throat> okay. So why are you saying you're basing your logic on what? You, you heard what yesterday that suggested Cooper Rush is going to start? Yeah. What convinced you? My intuition having played 14 okay. years and have to... See, sometimes, Skip, it's not what they say, it's what they don't say. In a situation like that, that's how psychiatrists sometimes evaluate. What would a normal, prudent person will say in that situation? That's not what you said. So, oh, hmm, read the tea leaves, Skip Baylor, stop it. It mm. ain't got to be all way crystal clear. Oh, Cooper Rush, hold a sign up, like the man with the sign. Mm. Cooper Rush starts on Sunday night. No, I don't need all that. Okay, where are the tea leaves? The tea leaves are what? I got... You won't put no dew on it. Okay, you keep I, asking me the question. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to bet against what I want. Okay, okay. Then. I, my best chance to win the game Sunday night, I've been clear as a bell on this, as a Liberty Bell yeah, on this. Yeah. Only way to go to Philadelphia, home of the Liberty Bell, and win the game is for Cooper Rush to okay, start. Skip. He gives me a better chance because he's got mystical, magical skip, mojo. Skip, skip, Something is skip, going on skip, here. Skip. All you have to do is bet 15 cases of do, and if Cooper Rush starts, you still get what you want. Cooper Rush would have oh, started, gonna... but you would have lost the bet to me okay. because that didn't start. Okay. Well, well again, <laughs> who's going to make the call? You think Jerry's going to make Jerry's the call? Jerry's already made the call. Okay. I'm, I'm only hinging my logic on 1991 because it's the only historical evidence I have of a situation like this because Troy proclaimed he was 1,000% healthy. Troy Aikman, the number one overall pick, 1991. We're going to Chicago to play in Troy's first ever playoff game. And Jerry and Jimmy, as the co-signers, said no to Troy Aikman because Steve Berline had a hot hand. And they said no to Troy again after they won a playoff game at Chicago and went to Detroit, and they got their doors blown off in Detroit, and that was the end of that. But the point is, this shapes up to me just like that. But I'm much more of a fan of Cooper Rush. You call him an intern. Yeah. You call him a jag. You call him an undrafted fraud. So, again, the logic would scream. You're in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Yes. Wouldn't they listen to you and no. just say, we got to go back to Dak Prescott? Skip. What, what does the president say? You ain't got to go back to 1991. Go back to 2016. What happened when Tony Romo? Did Tony Romo not proclaim he was healthy? What did they do? Mm -hmm. They stuck with Dak Prescott. So okay, why but, I got to go all the way back to 30 okay, years ago? But, but at that point, they'd won 10 straight games. Okay, they won five, so they're halfway, okay. they're halfway there. All right. Ten, but 10 straight going on. They actually won 11 oh, in a row. Hold on, time out. Wait a minute. Now, you telling me now all of a sudden five is not a big body of work? You just told me last week when, when Cooper Rush won one game against Minnesota. Mm -hmm. and then he won two. And when he won three. Five and oh. And then you told me three was a big, large sample size. Now you're telling me five is not a large enough sample size after you told me one, two, three was? Okay. I don't know what Jerry's going to do. I also know that Jerry, the ultimate showman and, and ringmaster, would love to make a Sunday night splash of splashes, a bulletin, a breaking news. Dak is going to start. There's also potentially some gamesmanship involved here because I think Jerry would like the locker room splash of we got all the way back to four and one. And now guess what? Our quarterback is back. And I read you the quote. He, you, you can't tell me he's not enamored of Dak's future with this but team. Oh, you just told me Jerry and Jimmy made the decision to ride Steve B line. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden you said now he's not going to ride the hot guy with Cooper Rush? I know, but it? Steve Berline actually started at Notre Dame. And Steve Berline had started 15 games for the Oakland Raiders yes. or the Los Angeles Raiders yes. at that point. So he had credibility that Cooper Rush has none of. He was undrafted out of Central Michigan. He didn't play for Notre Dame. He didn't get drafted at all. What? He hadn't started a game until he got thrown into okay. the fire. And I keep saying, wait a second, my eye test says that Cooper Rush is playing at a higher level than Dak has for three years, not for six games, 18 and 18 name, over his last name, 36 name, starts. Name the, ga name the game the Cowboys could have won if Dak threw for 100 yards, no touchdowns. 
Name, name the game, game. they could have won. Well, again, he's this guy hadn't turned the ball over one time all year. That's yeah. the secret Even if sauce. They were not winning a game in which Dak throws for 100 yards. Okay, they, Here, here's what you keep you, you sweeping under your carpet. All I know is that Cooper Rush in his very first four starts in this league, it's the hardest position to play in the world, and it ain't even close. In his first four starts in this league, out of nowhere, with no experience whatsoever, thrown into the fire at Minnesota, he wins first four games and does something no quarterback had ever done in the history of this league. Four straight games of 90-plus passer rating. We, we do QBR most of the time, but this is passer rating, 90-plus. Nobody had ever done that because it's impossibly hard. So he does that, and now he's fifth in the league in QBR, and you call him an intern. It's like the ultimate insult. All I know is it's working. And you say, can Cooper Rush get to 24? Who knows? He, he does everything asked of him. He has been remarkably, astonishingly clutch. Well, if, clutch. If, 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 if that's the Clutch. case, if that's the case, why are you arguing with me mm. that he's going to start on Sunday night then? Okay, but you told me if Dak is healthy, he should start. Well, somebody's going to be real wrong here because Dak is saying I'm 100% healthy. C.D. Lamb concurs. He validates. He says, yep. The power is back in his throws. And then you saw what Dak did in the media period when the media was allowed into practice. Yeah. If we've got the video, he's throwing it left-handed. Right. Because I, I know what he's made of. I know what he is. He's mad or at least miffed at the media for driving the Cooper Rush bandwagon. So he's jacking with the media here. When they come in, I'm just going to throw it left-handed just to mess with them, just to toy with them. So they'll all run to their computers and type, Doc's throwing left-handed passes. I guess he can't play. No. Because, okay. Because th this is what Dak knows. Dak knows that he checked Harvard, and then all of a sudden on, on, on IG, there's 75 million doctors. Well, mm. Harvard said they didn't have that many doctors that signed up for their program, and mm. neither did Stanford. Mm. So that's why he didn't do it. Because every 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 person that was there and everybody on our IG would have said that they all of a sudden think they're a doctor. Mm. They think they're Dr. Neil Elitrosh mm. or Dr. Andrews, mm. which they're not. Mm. So that's why he did what he did. We're going to talk about this a little later. But Skip Bayless, if what you're saying is true, why you are, well, what indication do you have? What does it matter what indication that I do I have if Cooper Rush is going to I, I just want to know because I know what I know. I'm backing up what I say. But you say, Jerry's going to do, there, there's no indication whatsoever that Jerry's going to do this. Give me tangible. There's no Give me a fact. There's no, a fact. there's no indication that he's not. So, okay. See, so you know. Well, I, give me one. I'm, yeah. I'm giving you 20 ideas, 20 reasons why Cooper what Rush should start. What did Mike McCarthy say? What did Mike McCarthy say? We're prepared as if Cooper Rush is going to start. Okay, but that's just gamesmanship. I'm not his gamesmanship. See, now I give you indication. Now it's game, well, it's gamesmanship. What you're doing? Okay. Well, is Mike McCarthy Jerry Jones? No. Well, you won't put. You no just say skip, he's a puppet. Skip. Why won't you put? I, do? I'm not going to put do. But, I'm, I'm not going to bet against what I want. Skip. That'd be crazy. You know, actually, I, I hope skip, that you're right. Skip, I don't skip. think you're think right. Think about how this works. Think about how this works. You bet the case to do. Dak doesn't start. I win, but you get what you want with Cooper Rush well, starting. Well, lose. <laughs> exactly. That's my point. Because you, you know Cooper Rush point. is going to that, start. That's just wrong-headed. I don't even know what you're talking Skip. about. You said you were just As usual, just arguing out of both sides of your mouth. No, all, all I know is I want Cooper Rush to start. I fear they're going to start Dak Prescott, and it will be a disaster. Okay, what indication that you get? Okay. What, what indication do I get on what? That, 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 that Cooper Rush is going to start. What you, indication? You just, you just told I, I don't me, have any indication. You just told you just told me that the man had to, nobody in NFL history has won their first four starts. Well, I didn't tell you that's just a fact. Okay. He's so, fifth in the league in QBR. So why would, so he's why been, would, he's come up clutch every time so he's been asked to come up clutch. Put, if that's the case, why would Jerry put Dak back in I there? I just read you the quote. Why would he put him back I, in I there? I can't even believe Jerry said this. You're talking about blasphemy. Talk about a shot at Cooper Rush. Do we need that extra spurt? What are you talking about? Extra spurt? You've had it five times extra spurts. Well, Every time you've been pressed, Cooper Rush says, I got this. But he does it unspectacularly. But he has been the answer man. Every time they have been challenged, every time they fall behind, every time they get tied, he says, I got gotcha. you. Cooper Rush. Watch Co this. Cooper Rush has never had to score more than 17. I mean, you, okay. they, they won 16. I, I want to see the, the opportunity when you're forced to score 17 that, that, or 24 oh, okay. or 31 oh, or 35. Thank you. Because I think he's highly capable because I've seen him do it before. No, no, you haven't. You've never seen, you've never seen the opposing team get more than 17 points. No, so, I've seen him answer every time that he needed to answer. Yeah, oh, my goodness. 
this man, the man, he answered 10 9. He answered 7 6. And now all of a sudden you say he every answered time. 13 to 6 at New York, and that was when the sky the, had skip, fallen. Skip, skip, skip the sky hadn't fallen. And, and, the, was by the way, the, 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 the Giants are 4 and 1 now. You said, oh, they're not very good. They're 4 and 1. Yeah. So he beat both Super Bowl teams last year. He went up to the Giants and beat them. And then he did something that Dak has, has rarely done in his career. He has now twice won games in which they didn't rush for 100 yards because they didn't rush for 100 against so, Washington. So Dak has never won a game in which they hadn't rushed for 100 no, yards? No, but it's, you, uh, I'm, I'm going to save this for a little later okay. in the show because we're going to address this, but he has been pathetic when they don't run for 100 yards. He, it, it's his crutch. Because he needs it. This, this guy doesn't need it. Smith, stop it, Skip. Stop it. Here's the thing. And this is what and this and this is what you do, and this is what what's going that's working in Cooper Worth's favor and working against Dak. Expectations. Mm. Dak have expectations when you when you've been the starter for an ex, uh, for a number of years and you get the money he had he's gotten. There's an expectation that comes along with that. Cooper Rush has no expectations. Okay, I, here here are my expectations, and I have tried so hard in my life to love Dak Prescott. I have tried with all my might, and he has failed me and left me devastated again and again and again and again and again and again. And let, just last year, it started with Denver. Your Broncos come to town. I think we're pretty good at that point. We're flying high. It's 30 to freaking nothing after three quarters. 30 to nothing, and Dak winds up with a QBR of 23 because he had empty calorie yards in the fourth quarter. And then they go to Kansas City, and the defense rises and shines. It was sort of a coming out party. Hold my homeboy. I know he's having a bad year by his standards, but hold him to 19 points. And they get the ball 12 times in that game. Dak Prescott. And they managed to score three field goals. And he had a QBR of 11 on a scale of 0 to 100 in that game. And then let's just fast forward to the San Francisco playoff game. Dak comes out flat and lifeless. And they fall behind 23 to 7 after three quarters. And he goes empty calorie flurry at, in the fourth quarter right. and rallies back and got his QBR all the way up to 32 on a scale of 0 to 100. But they, they lost 23 to 17. And then... Opening night, I had ex some expectations, sure, for this year. He, he, he makes $100 million guaranteed dollars. And what happened on opening night? He has a QBR under 20 and scores a grand total of three points and gets hurt at the end of the game. And the whole world says, Dallas is dead. Dances on the Cowboys' grave. And I say... No, no, no. Cooper Rush is pretty good. In fact, he looked better in that game at Minnesota last year than Dak looked during the year. Can I ask you a question? If you don't mind me asking, um, you say the uh, the Broncos. So when was the last time that the Broncos that Cooper Rush started and the defense gave up thirty points? Okay, yeah, you say they lost. The, you, you say they lost the divisional mm -hmm. round. They lost twenty three points. They lost twenty three yeah, seventeen. But you're, you're, you're not counting turnovers. They're lethal. When you turn the ball over, when you get sack stripped, when 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 you throw it to the other team, it tilts the playing field. Cooper Rush is, is, is extraordinary in what he does not do. That's what you overlook. He doesn't turn the ball over. It runs efficiently. It runs effectively. And then when it's time to answer, he just answers. Well, well what, about, what about the takeaways that the defense got? Okay. Well, sh against L.A., they did. That's, okay. that's your one aberration game okay. where they jump at it. It should have been 10 to nothing. It was 9 to nothing. And Cooper Rush can kind of just put it in neutral. And, and yet he that's played he got, very that's well. That's all the gear he got. Oh, is it yeah, really? Yeah, only, only, only huh. he only got he only got a little cruise group. Really? He ain't got no year four, five, six, seven. Huh. He, he so he's no got the fifth QBR no, in, in the league. He'll three speed. He'll three speed. He's, Slapstick. He's got the fifth QBR in the whole league, but he can only play in neutral. Slapstick. Really? Okay, so check this out. You told me going into the year that the Cowboys were pretty suspect at receiver because you got no respect for CeeDee Lamb, right? You think he's way, way overrated? I do. So I just looked up before the show, Pro Football Focus grades the Cowboy receivers through five games, the 25th best group in the league. Somehow Cooper Rush has won four straight games. The offensive line in run blocking is graded 27th out of 32 teams in the league. Somehow they've won four straight games with Cooper Rush. The run game just in total yards ranks 15th in the league. Somehow they've won four straight games. Would you believe that the Dallas Cowboys in the last four games under Cooper Rush are 26th in time of possession? So it's not ball control. It's not eating the clock. It's making the play when you have to make can the can play it, to win the game. It, okay, oh, you read me all those stats. Now read me where the defense is ranked. Mm -hmm. You keep telling me where the they're, Cowboys are. third in points allowed. Oh, and where are they in pass? Is that historically great? Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. is, is, is that a historically bad, what mm -hmm. your team is? Oh, of course mm -hmm. not. So where are they in pressures? Where are they in sacks? Mm -hmm. Where are, huh? They're number one in pressures. Mm, interesting. Okay. 
Well, yeah, okay. I, I took. I first guessed it before you ever thought about it. I said we will go ultimately as far as Micah and the defense takes okay, my so, team. So, so if that's the case, it shouldn't okay. matter if Cooper you, was you have, or not. It's the most important position in sports. You, you have underrated and undercut everything Tom Brady has ever done. No, yet I, Cooper Rush is playing just the way Brady no, played no. when he was a first-year starter. And, and just guess, the way. And just and see, think about what you just said. Mm -hmm. I undercut Brady, but what did Brady have? A defense like what the what the sure Cowboys have. But you didn't mention that. No, I did. I did all that whole year. I, I get no, you. No, I'm talking about now because you say I undercut him. But when the defense plays well, all you talk about is Tom, Tom, Tom. My thing is with that, give everybody credit. Give the defense credit. Give Malcolm Butler credit. Mm. Give Tom, give uh, Coach Belichick's defense for holding the two high-scoring teams, both Rams teams, were the highest-scoring teams in the league that year. He held one team to 29 points below the average and held the other team to 15 points below mm -hmm. the average. And all you talk about Tom, 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 when Tom threw 400. 141 yards, mm -hmm. and 50 of the yards came on the last drive. Mm. Give the defense credit mm -hmm. when Ty Law had a pick six mm -hmm. touchdown return, mm -hmm. and the defense shut sure. down that offense. I got it. He's a first-year starter. It's hard. A first -year starter. Well, what did Peyton do as a first-year starter? He led the league in interceptions. So are you telling me? So you telling me if I'd have put Tom Brady in the situation in, in, in Indy? As a, as a true rookie starting day one, he did better than Peyton. Well, want to bet he wouldn't have led the league in interceptions? I'll bet you a, a billion dollars. One up, Skip. The man couldn't even beat out. The man couldn't beat out Brian Greasy, and he couldn't beat out uh, what's the guy that played baseball. Mm -hmm. He couldn't beat them out. Drew but all Henson. of a sudden, Drew Henson. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, you think he's gonna be better in his rookie year on a, 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 a team that had the number one pick in the draft, and he was gonna be better than? Mm. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I'm right. You know it. He's the goat times ten in this sport, and he was his rookie year. He was extraordinary. Uh, no, his first year started. No, 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 no. You yep. said his rookie year. His no. rookie year, he was on the bench. I said his first year started. No, 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 no. Tom, Peyton Manning didn't get an opportunity to sit and mm -hmm. learn. Peyton Manning got thrown into the fire. So you're telling me you could have thrown Tom, Tom Brady into the fire and he didn't much. Are you telling me Peyton Manning's better than Tom Brady? Now, see, now it's all okay. about who's better. Well, is it? You told me this as a ridiculous. rookie. It's a simple question. As a rookie, a rookie, not a first-year starter. Mm. I didn't think so. Okay. It, it's so hard when you get thrown into the fire and you've never played in this league. Cooper Rush had never played a lick of Skip. real football Skip. in this league until last year at Minnesota. That's what what, what he's doing is off the charts. Skip. It's never I've never seen anything like it in my career. Every, every, and he has earned the right to have one more reality check at the highest level of degree of difficulty at Philadelphia. That's all. I, it, it's his time and his turn to do this. Every quarterback. And I fear that Jerry's going to crumble under pressure internally to go ahead and play Dak on Sunday night. I disagree. Yep. Well, here we go. I hope you're right. I just hope you're right. Because if you're right, then you're going to be wrong on Sunday. Right? No, I'm going to no. be right. Skip, I told you who's going to start. I'm going to be right on Monday because the Eagles are going to win regardless of who starts. But oh. Cooper Rush is going to start. I believe Dak should start if he's healthy. But Jerry says he's not healthy. And that's the only thing that matters. Mm. Well, I don't think Jerry's saying he's not we healthy. We'll find out okay. Sunday night, gentlemen. We sure will. It's going to be a good one either way. Plenty of drama. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.